Well hi there boys and girls. Welcome to your last video of the year for BC Calculus. And what we're going to do today is take a look at a free response question that mixes polar and parametric together. So I've got a curve drawn in the xy plane and I've been given polar coordinates here and I've given a domain from 0 to pi for my theta. And r is measured in meters and theta is measured in radians. And so I'm supposed to sketch the graph of this curve and so you can just go to polar mode and type in r equals 2 plus sine of 2 theta and this is what you're going to get. When theta is 0, r is 2. When theta is pi over 2, you're going to get r is 2 as well. And then when theta is out here at pi, you're going to get an r right here. And then you're going to get this weird little graph that looks something like this. And it looks like Gary. And if your name is Gary, please don't take offense. That's actually a SpongeBob reference. Anyway, find the area bounded by the curve and the x-axis. And so we are given, this is sort of nice and easy. They've already given me my theta intervals. And so I just have to use my formula. Area equals one half the integral. We're going to let theta go from zero all the way up to pi of r squared d theta. And since they told me r equals up here, I'm just going to write r squared d theta for the person grading my test, and they know that I'm using that equation. And I'm going to use this on my calculator, and it works out to be 7.069. All right, so now we're going to get go forward and answer some different questions. Part C says, find the angle theta that corresponds to the point on the curve with x coordinate negative 1. Well, I can see here x coordinate negative 1. That point is right here. So my angle for theta is bigger than pi over 2, but less than pi. But we actually have to figure out what that is. Now, you have to know some conversion equations to go from theta or polar back to rectangular coordinates. And dealing with x, we know that x is equal to r cosine theta. That's one of our equations that we have to know. So my x-coordinate is given by r, which is this curve right here, 2 plus the sine of 2 theta, that's my r, times cosine theta. And I want to know, when does this equal negative 1? And I have a calculator. Now, a lot of us can solve equations on the home screen, but if you're dealing with sine and cosine, your calculator can try and get real fancy and give you a uh, general solution. So if you want, you can tell it to solve this equation equals negative 1, and then you can tell it such that. That's the little bar evaluate button. x is greater than 0 and x is less than pi. I prefer to graph them. Graph this in y1, and then graph this in y2. Set your window for x to go from 0 out to pi. You'll have to be using function mode and calculate their intersection however you'd like to do that. Anyway, I, I did that and I got theta equals 2.63036. Now if you want to think about degrees, you're going to multiply that times 180 over pi to get degrees and if you do that you get 150.688. So if you can believe it, when theta equals about 150 degrees, that's when we get that x coordinate of negative 1 and I can definitely believe that. All right. The, last, uh, the second to last question here. Find the value of dr d theta. This means the derivative of r and let the independent var variable be theta. So we have r equals 2 plus the sine of 2 theta. And we are going to d d theta this equation. So we will get that dr d theta is equal to 2 cosine of 2 theta because of the chain rule. Now we want to find it at the instant when theta equals 5 pi over 7. So we want to do dr d theta evaluated when theta equals 5 pi over 7. And I did that on my calculator. You can just plug in 5 pi over 7. You can also ask it to take the derivative of this and plug in 5 pi over 7 at the same time using that little evaluated thing. But I got that to be negative 0.44. Now we have to explain this. What does this answer tell you about R? 
I got that a derivative of r was negative. And if your derivative is negative, what does that tell you about your original variable? dr d theta was negative. That means that r is decreasing. Or I could say r is decreasing because dr d theta was less than zero. So that's what that tells me about r. My r is getting smaller as we go through that angle. Now what does that tell you about the curve? If your radial lines are getting smaller, what is happening to the curve? Well, the curve is being pulled in to the origin. So you would say that the curve is getting closer to the pole. And I guess I'll put the curve is out here. Closer to the pole. All right, um, our last question here is a, a true mix of polar and parametric. And I've got a particle traveling along this graph, and its position is given by x of t comma y of t. This is a position vector. And it's given that d theta dt is 3. So theta is increasing at a constant rate of 3. Find the value of dx dt when theta equals pi over 6 and interpret the meaning in the answer of your answer in the context of your problem. Well, we already know that x is equal to r cosine theta. So that is 2 plus sine of 2 theta times it's a cosine theta. That's a parenthesis there, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Okay. So I'm going to have to ddt this equation. And if you ddt this, I'm going to have to use the chain rule by saying that the derivative of theta is d theta dt. So dx dt is going to equal, do the product rule here, because I've got a product. It's the first function, 2 plus sine of 2 theta, times the derivative of the second. Well, that's cosine theta. I'm sorry, the derivative of cosine theta is, excuse me, negative sine of theta, but then times d theta dt. And then plus the second function, cosine theta times the derivative of the first. And the derivative of 2 plus sine 2 theta is 2 cosine of 2 theta times d theta dt. Now they tell me that d theta dt is 3. So I'm going to replace that with a 3. So I'll just put a 3 in front of that sign. I'll replace that with a 3 and turn that 2 into a 6. And so at this point, we're supposed to plug in theta equals pi over 6. So I want to know what is dx dt evaluated when theta equals pi over 6. And I have a calculator, and I did that, and I got that this answer was negative 1.70096. So I got a derivative that was negative. So what does this mean if we're moving along that curve that looked like Gary a little bit here? If we're moving along that curve out here at this pi over 6 angle, wherever that is, we got that dx dt was negative. What does that mean in the context of your problem? Well, if dx dt is negative, that means that the x coordinate is decreasing because dx dt was negative, which means that we are starting to, instead of going out to the right, we're starting to go back to the left, which I believe that here on the graph. As we're traveling along this graph, we actually start to go back to the left at this rate of negative 1.70096 meters per unit radian. So anyway, um, that's it for that video, and it's, uh, I guess I will see you guys tomorrow.